It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Moosehead Breweries Limited and it's a bottle of their Moosehead Lager coming in at 5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Green glass bottle. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. It's not ideal, it's not an ideal thing to do to put a beer in a green glass bottle because the hops will skunk. But we will see what happens now when we get the beer. When we get our nose into the beer. So the beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsor beersofeurope.co.uk largest online beer store in the UK with literally beer from all over the world on the website. So if you'd like to try and beer from all over the world, check out the link in the description box of the video for beersofeurope.co.uk Okay, there's a nice hours of carbonation, one finger white head and yeah, typical golden clear looking lager. Let's get the aroma. I've drunk many of these. Some people call them, or some breweries call them premium lagers. Some people call them generic, or some kind of bloggers call them generic lagers. Um, it smells like I've drunk lots of these from around the world. And they all seem to have like one base recipe. They all seem to smell and taste the same. It's got a... I pick up like a... It's like a lemony spice aroma. Lager malt, lager yeast. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Not bad. It's not bad actually. That clear green bottle had me slightly kind of concerned. It goes well with my t-shirt, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it had me concerned because the hops in the beer would generally skunk with the, because it, it light kind of, it's the worst color. It's worse than clear, it's green. For some reason it kind of streams the, pulls in the kind of the sunlight or the UV from the lights in the shop and it just affects the hops but um, to be perfectly honest with you there's no smelling of skunking which is the effect of the UV and the effect of the light and there's no real taste of it either But it's very plain. It's been designed to be ultimately a drinkable beer, a drinkable lager that at 5% ABV can be cracked open at a barbecue or a party and, and not really kind of, not too much thought going into the kind of the, what you're drinking really. It's, it's not a beer you want to connoisseur. It's not, it's not a beer that you want to think too much about you know it's 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 a beer to get the job done to refresh you and if you're that way inclined to, to get you a little bit tipsy it's no craft beer it never started out life being a craft beer so I'm I've learned to I very much when I first started these kind of lager reviews years ago I, I do them every now and again um, I used to attack the the big brands as you know. I used to be quite. Well, oh, this is just tastes of, of nothing, and you know I used to be quite harsh, if you like, because I've chosen to, to review the beer. It's my choice. Um, they've brewed, brewed this product to be drunk in mass, drunk regularly. And to be cheap for the for the for the working man. 
So it's my choice to kind of step into that territory. Um, for me, me personally, I've had worse lagers. It's one of those where you could get a, I've had Mauritius beer, beer from Mauritius, I've had beer from Brazil and the UK and, and Germany and France and they all seem to kind of taste like this kind of premium lager, of course Australia. Got that premium lager kind of taste which is slightly lemony, bit of spice and then not really that much else. So I'm going to rate it. I personally wouldn't go out my way and buy this again. Personally. Only because I see myself as somebody who, who's tried thousands of beers from all over the world. And I kind of know that, that I can get so much more kind of tastier stuff than this. So I won't be looking to buy it again. But on the other hand... As I mentioned, I've stepped on the territory of, of, of the Moosehead Lager drinker and, and maybe, you know, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe, maybe I should just leave these lagers well alone. I don't know. Comment in the comments box. Is this review of any value to you? Did you want me to see, did you want to kind of watch a review of Moosehead Lager? Let me know in the comments box. But my personal rating, this is okay for somebody who wants a drink, a mass produced lager, four pints after the work on a Friday. But for me, I'm not gonna chase this beer again. Um, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. It's a five out of 10 from Redal Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.